My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 114 and 115. Problem number 114, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says find a number such that if 6, 10, and 16 are added to it. So we have a number, let's call it n if you like, or if you could call it x if you like, doesn't really matter. So we have a number, let's call it x. What are we going to do? Find a number, it says, that if we were to add 6, 10, and 16, if 6, 10, and 16 are added to it, the product of the first and the third results, product of the first and the third results, equals the square of the second result. One more time, find a number, it says, such that if 6, so we can take the number x, we're going to add 6 to it, that's the first result. Then we're going to add 10 to it, that's the second result. Then we're going to add 16 to it, that's the third result. It says that the product, if you were to do that, it says the product of the first and the third. So here's the first and here's the third. So their product, x plus 6 times x plus 16, product of the first and the third, has to equal, it says, the square of the second. Second is this one right here. So if you take this one, and the square that quantity, there is your equation. There is your equation. The rest is downhill. We simply have to solve for this equation, solve this equation, and that's all there is. Let's do it, shall we? So we get x squared plus 16x plus 6x and then 16 times 6. 16 times 5 is 80. 16 times 80. That I do know. If you take 80 and add another 16 to it, 80 plus 16 should be 96. And on this side, it's very straightforward, it's x plus 10 whole squared, it's going to be x squared plus 20x plus 100. Which comes straight from a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. The b squared will be the 10 squared, which is 100. As you can see, it is not a quadratic equation. It looks like a quadratic equation, but the reality is not, because we have an x squared here and we have an x squared here. Let's subtract x squared from both sides, it goes away. And here we end up with 16 plus 6. 16 plus 6 is going to be uh, 16 plus 4 is 20, so it's 22. 22x plus 96 equals 20x plus 100. Let's subtract 20x from both sides. And let's subtract 96 from both sides. And we are done. 22x minus 20x is going to give us 2x equals, and 96 are going to cancel out. 20 x's are going to cancel out and we end up with 100 minus 96 which is going to give us 4 which means the x is equal to 2. All we have to do now at this point is to very quickly is to very quickly verify our answer, make sure our answer is correct, make sure it makes sense with the problem. And we're going to do that on the top. So here are the three quantities x plus 6, x is equal to 2, so x plus 6 times x plus 16 has to equal x plus 10 whole squared. Let's see if it does or not. Let's see if it does or not. So we get x plus 2 which is going to be 8 times 16 plus 2 is 18 has to equal x plus 10 which is 12 squared, which is same as 12 times 12. What can we do here? Divide both sides of the equation by 6. If you divide both sides of the equation by 6, I see 18 here, I see a 12 here. Let's divide both sides by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and 12 divided by 6 is going to be 2. Oh, well, there you go. 8 times 3 is 24, and 2 times 12 is also 24. It checks out. It works. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. It says if x is a positive integer, so we are told that x is a positive integer such that, such that, so if they're going out of their way to tell you that x is a positive integer, there is a reason for it, obviously, and and the reason, the importance of that uh, that uh, that that information is going to come in, uh, uh, in uh, into evidence quite quite soon.
x is a positive integer such that if 5, 15, and 21 are added, are added to it, if 5, 15, and 21 are added to it, the product of the first and the second results and the second result results equals six times six times the third result fine if you like if you like you can do it yourself is the exact same problem uh, well not exact same problem but exact same idea as the one that we just finished here nothing difference at all do it yourself once you have done it then you can compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time it's always a good idea I'll give you five seconds to be able to, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video so let's get going so here we are told that we have a number such that we know it's a positive integer such that if 5 and 15 and 21 are added to it. These are the three results we're going to get. If 5, 15, and 21 are added to it, the product of the first and the second. So here we have the first and the second. So we don't have to rewrite anything. Here's the first, here's the second. The product of these two quantities we are told has to equal six times, six times this quantity. That's all it is. We just have to solve for it. Let's see what we can do. x times x is x squared. x times 15 is going to be 15x. 5x and finally 5 times 15 is 75 it would have to equal 6 times x which is 6x 6 times 21 well I know 6 times 20 is going to be 120 so it's going to be 126 126 and now we just have to simply combine the, combine the term and simplify it so here, as you can see, x squared is not going to cancel out. We're going to end up with a quadratic equation, but there is no reason to freak out, and I'll tell you that in a, I'll tell you why in a second. Okay? 20x plus 75 equals 6x plus 126. Let's bring 6x to that side. Subtract 6x from here. Subtract 75 from here. And we're going to end up with 75 is going to cancel out. X squared plus 14x equals 6x is going to cancel out 125 125 minus 75 would have been exactly 50 125 minus 75 would have been exactly 50 we do not have 125 we have 126 so it's going to be 51 now instead of now we have two choices here we could actually make it complicated and bring this 51 here and have it x squared plus 14x minus 51 equals 0 and write this into a standard form of the quadratic equation and solve that as a quadratic equation but it is not necessary it is not necessary because the problem clearly tells us that we are only dealing with the positive root we are not dealing with negative root here x we are told is a positive integer which means they told us that's their way of saying don't worry about the negative root just look for the positive root which is exactly what we're going to do here by factoring out the x and you will see it's very simple if we factor out the x if you factor out the x, we end up with x plus 14 equals 51. You see, x times x is going to give us x squared, and x times 14 is going to give us 14x. So we have x times x plus 14 equals 51. Let's put it on the top so we can talk about it. x, so we have some quantity x, and then if you add 14 to it, we get 51 and we know that x is positive integer 
which makes our life very simple. Can x be 1? Can x be 1? The answer is no, because 1 times 15, 1 plus 14 would be 15, 1 times 15 does not equal 51. Can x be 2? The answer is no, 2 times 16 is not going to give us 51. Can x be 3? 3 times 17, voila, 3 times 17 is 51. There is your x. Our x is 3. Our x is 3. Let's verify our answer, shall we? We always have to verify our answer. So we're going to do that here, the verification. Verify it. We are told that if we were to add 5 to it, and if we were to add 15 to it, the result is equal to 6 times the third quantity, which is the number plus the 21. And let's see if it works, because we are claiming that x is equal to 3. We are claiming that x is equal to 3. 3 plus 14 is 17. 17 plus 3, 17 times 3 is 51. Let's put it in here and see if it works. If x is 3, we get 8 times 3 plus 15 is going to be 18, equals 6 times 21 plus 3 will be 24. Again, again I see, oh well, we can see 6 here, we can see 6 here anywhere. Let's divide the entire equation by 6. If you divide the entire equation by 6, 18 divided by 3, 6 is going to give us 3, and this 6 is going to drop out. And we are done. We are done. 8 times 3 equals 24. It checks out. It is the right answer. It checks out. Bye now.